there fairy tale fashion designers, I'm Diana Ng and today we're at the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens to do some biomimetic research. We're going to be looking for deployable structures. Deployable structures are objects that change shape easily, such as an umbrella or a tent. They're also found a lot in nature because they help flowers and leaves to bloom. Here they're in the hornbeam tree. We can see them in the leaves as this folded structure. The structure is also referred to as miyara ori, Japanese for leaf folding, and the folds in the leaves help them to open more easily. Here is a paper model of the miyara ori structure of the hornbeam leaf. You can see the movement that causes the leaf to open. Compare with these images of open and closed hornbeam leaves. Miura Ori is used in a lot of designs, like this map, and in satellites. In satellites, it's used in solar panels so that they can be nice and compact when being transported, and open nice and large to capture a lot of sunlight. Using ideas from nature in design is called biomimetics, and one of the most famous biomimetic inventions is used in fashion. It's Velcro. The idea from Velcro came when a man found hooks on little seeds stuck to fur on his dog. And this became the hook side and the fur side of Velcro. The flowers of the Jimson weed use the Miura Ori leaf folding structure in a spiral pattern. This helps the flowers to bloom. Here is a paper model of the Miura Ori structure of the Jimson weed. The Miura Ori fold lines are located here and help the flower to blossom. Notice that when it's closed, the fold lines form a spiral. You can see the same spiral fold lines on the closed Jimson flower blossom. We've seen a lot of Miura Ori structures that are made out of paper, but what about ones made out of fabric? Well, here's an example Miura Ori scarf that I've made. So now for this week's design question. How do you imagine fairy tale fashion using Miura Ori structures?